Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes look at Super Voxel World. In this video we'll be taking a look at how to make a first person tower defense game as well as a sneak peek at the new Dragon Mount system. So to get started I'm going to load one of the showcase worlds, the tower defense level. You can create your own from scratch but these are nice to kind of give you a bit of a head start. Okay, so normally I like the nice dark kind of creepy look for tower defense game, but I'm going to switch to edit mode and then hit tab and then under world settings, go to sky, make it a little bit brighter, um, bring it to something closer like uh, early morning. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to remove the background music as well. Okay, tab close that. So, to begin, we have our starting point. Place this down. This is where we will spawn. We first load the world, or if you die while protecting your base. This is the base crystal that you'll be protecting from all of the waves of enemies that come through. Over here, we have a few weapons. You can change the options on these. This one's 950. This one is a free weapon. You can change the display type, how much ammo to come with it, and whether you want to remove it on pickup. If you select that, uh, the weapon will disappear after you purchase it. So it's kind of like a, more like a one-time use type of thing. So let's see over here, we have some more weapons, shotgun, bow. Uh, we have our waypoints, and these are the turret tower bases that you can set down. So the tab, go to our inventory, drag this turret base here to our quick slot. So you can set these down and this is what the player will use in play mode to actually upgrade and set different towers and things like that. We'll see that here in a minute. So other than the turret bases, you need these waypoints to create your path and a wave spawner. And these will actually create the enemies and amount of waves that you set and send them down this path that we've created. So let's check out the options and settings. We have 10 waves that will spawn total from this wave spawner, how much to delay when each wave starts, and spawn delay is in between. So if we have three here, and then it will be spawn a zombie, wait a second, spawn a zombie, etc. So again, we have uh, 10 waves that we can see that come all the way down here. Uh, wave 5 is going to be a bunch of wizards, and the rest are mostly zombies, really. Yep, so this is how we select our waypoint. Um, that's going to create the path that it follows. We're just going to stick it to the first one like we had. So we'll start there and follow each of these waypoints. I have them stuck pretty close together so they don't kind of wander off, but they don't have to be as close as I have them. Alright. We're going to switch to play mode, and when you first start, you have to actually hit G before that first wave spawns, so that kind of gives you a minute to get your bearings, buy turrets, uh, just kind of generally check out your surroundings and see, you know, what your general plan of attack is going to be. Uh, back here, I just kind of set up a little weapons range so you can warm up before you start that first wave. Grab us a bow, these little targets will respawn a few seconds after you knock them down. Pistol's free as well. Shoots quickly, but doesn't do a whole lot of damage. So you see, I started up here with $2,500. I go to gameplay. You can set how much to start in edit mode when you first start. Instead of buying new weapons, I'm going to use this initial starting money to get some turrets going. So we have our machine guns, we also have um, it's like a static field that's short range and a laser. Let's check that one out here. So this is going to be longer distance. It doesn't do as much damage, but it does sort of stun them a bit and it causes them to sort of group up. Um, so it can be pretty handy. Kind of group them up and let the machine gun take them out. See our enemies coming from the wave spawners, our lasers kind of stunning that guy, causing the other guys behind him to sort of move up. Okay, 
wave two. Let's throw us another machine gun turret down, Let's see the range. So as you kill these guys, you get money. Take that money and upgrade your turrets or find new weapons. Up to you. So far so good. Five, there's our withers that we had set up. These guys shoot fireballs at you. Set up here. Can't afford that yet. It's four thousand. Exploding barrels. All right, well that was fun. So that's tower defense. Let's check out a little something we have up here. Switch to edit, and now we can just jump back up there. If you hit F, you'll switch to fly mode. As long as you're in edit mode. And that kind of just keeps gravity off, makes it easier to fly around. So we can just pop up here. And this is Unka, the dragon. It's a rideable mount. Mostly just made for transportation right now. But um, I think having some fireballs or maybe fire breathing would be pretty cool. There we go. Hit E to mount it. And check it out. You hold space. Fly around. First person, the T. Hold C. Dive and get some speed. If you hold Shift, we kind of glide around. And if 
if you let go. And you can flap your wings and uh, gain more momentum, and space to gain some air. If you get close enough to the ground, it will automatically land. You can walk and run around. First person mode looks really cool, I think. Um, you can hold shift to canter, run a little bit faster. Space to jump. And you can even Q to dodge. I think this would be cool for fireballs in the future update. Space to jump. And you can go to fly, just hold space. It'll be put into a fly mode. And that's it. Got some more uh, mounts coming in. New update. There's a horse and a stag. They don't fly, but um, pretty cool. Uh, other methods to get around. Eventually, there might be mount of combat and things like that. So if you like this, please like and subscribe, and we'll do more videos with these dev updates, show you how to use some of these new items that we have in the game. And yeah, check us out on itch.io, Super Vox World, and download for free and play with your friends. Uh, multiplayer, you can share worlds, it's pretty cool. Check it out.